Okay, so let's try this this problem. Shown is the shorthand notation for the cell diagram of the Daniel cell. Label all the parts, um, show the two half reactions, and show the balanced redox equation. Okay? So, why do we write things in the shorthand notation? Just so we can write it all on one line, okay? And it's very descriptive, even though it looks kind of weird, okay? So, uh, the things at the ends, okay, you see this is zinc solid, this is copper solid, those are the two electrodes, okay? The one on the left side, that's where the electrons are flowing from, okay? So that's going to be the anode. Okay, so electrons are going away. It's losing electrons, right? So oxidized. Okay. So this is the other electrode. What is it called? The cathode. Okay. So what you find, right? So when you lose electrons, you're oxidized. So this zinc is becoming zinc. 2 plus, okay? So zinc atoms are losing electrons to become zinc 2 plus. In fact, the solution that this electrode, the anode, is in is a zinc 2 plus solution at concentration 1 molar there, okay? So remember, the cathode is this copper, so, um, well, at the cathode, reduction happens. The Cu2 plus is actually being reduced, okay? Because the electrons are flowing onto this copper 2 plus, and the Cu2 plus is becoming Cu, okay? So it's Cu2 plus plus two electrons to become Cu, okay? So at the cathode, that reaction, that reduction reaction is occurring, okay? And of course, this is the solution that the cathode's in, and this is the concentration of that solution, okay? Um, the, so this line just is saying there's an anode in this solution, okay? This line is saying there's a cathode in this solution. This double line, that indicates the break of, between the two solutions, okay? And remember, we put a salt bridge in between those to kind of counterbalance the loss of electrons from one side and the gain of electrons to the other, okay? So this actually is just indicating that this is a salt bridge, okay? So that's all of the pieces of the shorthand notation. Now let's go ahead and write out the two half reactions, okay? And we described them earlier, so um, it shouldn't be too difficult for us to um, try to write them out, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so the um, oxidation half reaction happens at the anode, right? So well, what's happening? In oxidation, you're losing electrons. Remember, Leo, okay? Lose electrons is oxidation. So, zinc solid, right, is losing electrons to become zinc 2 plus aqueous, like that, okay? So, how many electrons did it lose? Two. Two. Okay. So that's the oxidation half reaction. The reduction half reaction is going to be the opposite. Okay? So reduction is gaining electrons. Remember GER, right? So what is gaining electrons? It's the Cu2 plus aqueous. Okay? That's going to copper solid, like that, but how many electrons do we need? 
to do that? Two. Two, All right. Okay, so that's the reduction half reaction. Okay. This is this one's really convenient because both of them are two, so they're all the electrons are already balanced for us. Okay, so we can just add these two reactions up, canceling out our electrons there. When we add those up, we're going to get the balanced redox reaction. Okay, so the balanced redox reaction is going to be zinc solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous goes to zinc 2 plus aqueous plus Cu salt. Like that. Okay. So are there any questions on that particular one? Okay, hopefully it makes sense. <laughs>